Finding Nemo was initially supposed to be much darker than it turned out. For several reasons, the plot was reworked and made more suitable for a younger audience. Many of the deleted scenes are incredibly creepy and really strange. Without further ado, let's begin. The backstory of Marlin's life with Coral was originally supposed to be much longer. The creators planned to tell their story through flashbacks throughout the movie. For example, there was a scene where they first met. I swim a lot. Pectorals like these don't come naturally, you know. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So, their story was supposed to be very cute at the beginning. There was a beautiful scene where Marlene found a home for them. You're kidding! This is ours? Mm-hmm. We can move in immediately. Also, there's an interesting scene where Coral is about to give birth and tells Marlin to leave so she can do it alone. Honey, time to wait outside. Oh, right, right. Oh, okay, sorry. See you later, son. Out! However, things took a dark turn later. It's just, I want each one to be special. Well, then it's settled. We'll name them all special. Oh, you're no help. <laughs> The creators originally wanted to show this scene at the very end of the movie, alongside Marlin's rescue of Nemo from the fisherman. The scene starts similarly to the final version, but then things take a different turn. The thing is that we don't see what the shark does to Marlin and Coral's children in the released version. But in the deleted scene, we see him devour them all. If you listen carefully, you can even hear the children's screams. <laughs> It's truly horrifying. Although we don't see Carl's death itself, we can hear her scream at the very end. It's creepy. Carl, look out! <clears throat> this is so much darker than what we saw in the final version. Imagine seeing the entire story of Marlin and Coral from their first meeting to the tragic end of their family. The movie would be even more emotional and dramatic. In the final cut, Marlin is unconscious when his family dies, but in this scene, he sees it all with his own eyes. It's incredibly heartbreaking. As I mentioned, this scene was supposed to be shown at the same time as Nemo's rescue at the end of the movie. In this deleted scene, we see that Marlin saves Nemo in the same way that he dealt with the shark. The creators abandoned this idea because people who watched this version at the test screening couldn't synthesize with Marlin. His backstory took too long to unfold, so the creators gave us a short backstory at the beginning of the movie instead. This way, we could understand Marlin right away. I don't know if this was the only solution, but I'd love to see a version of Finding Nemo with these deleted scenes. The interesting deleted scenes actually don't end there. At the beginning of the film, we were supposed to be shown this scene. I remember somebody looking at me. What did mommy look like? She was very pretty. It is very touching. But the most interesting thing is that Nemo thought that the ocean took his mommy away, not that she died. And then the ocean took mommy away? That's right, it did. Well, it's so sad. Many viewers also find the deleted scene with Gil quite dark. It starts calmly. Let's see, there's uh, Marco, Polo, Lester, Linus, and Lulu. Lulu? That's your name, <laughs> don't wear it out. But then it's revealed that Gil simply copied everything he told Nemo about the ocean from a book. This makes Gil seem like a kinda creepy character. And the scene itself is quite something. Marco, Polo, Lester, Linus, and Lulu. Lulu, he chuckled. That's my name, said Lulu. Don't, Don't wear, wear it out. out. Brothers and sisters. But then it gets even more spooky. Wouldn't have heard of a shark bait. It's out called bad luck, bait. bad luck Bait. It's a rough part of the ocean. It's sort of shaped like a, like a human skull. It actually gets really scary when you watch it all the way through, which I unfortunately can show you because of YouTube. Now, Finding Dory also has a very creepy deleted scene. In it, we see fish being eaten right before our eyes, and its body parts being ripped off. It's no surprise that this scene was cut in the end. It's too dark and scary for a children's movie. What do you think of this scene? 
There is also a scene where Marlin basically kills Bruce. Well, we don't see his death, but you have to see it. First, Marlin beats Bruce up. Let's party. <gasps> And then things get even crazier. Now where's my son? This is insane. It's hard to imagine Marlin doing something like that. People in the comments say that it could have been just Marlin imagination, not reality. By the way, there was another similar scene in Finding Nemo, where the sharks played with mines. It's best not to repeat this at home. <laughs> Another strange scene is when Dory tells Marlin to smell the lavender. However, the problem is that they're fish and would never be able to smell lavender. Which is probably why the scene was cut. Imagine the scent of lavender. Okay, we're back, Dory. Okay, we're still breathing. No, we're not breathing now, we're back. Balance the chi. Also, I can't help but tell you that finding Dory was also supposed to be completely different. According to the plot, the characters were supposed to meet the fish who escaped from the dentist's office in the first movie. <gasps> Shark bait! Gil? What, what are, are you doing here? here? So finding Dory would have been completely different in that case. In this version of the film, more attention was paid to Marlin than to Dory. And that's why all of this was cut and changed. To be honest, there was a pretty interesting scene. Well, we spent some time on Sheikh Khalid's hovercraft jumped ship at the port of Seyan, hopped an America's Cup yacht in Perth. This whole scene seems excellent, and I'd probably like to see it in the final cut. In this water bottle, we found ourselves recycled, refilled for shipment overseas, traveling due west when we went overboard in a typhoon. As far as I can tell, Gil was supposed to play a significant role in this version. We can see it from the scene where he gives a speech to Marlin. I don't know if you understand how much influence you have, Marlin. You're a highly respected fish. I am? Next plan we come up with. It's on you to get the gang on board. Although I'm not a fan of Finding Dory, I still found these scenes quite interesting. Air to sea! Ooh -ha -ha! Whoa, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Air to sea? In other words, going up in the air. As in, where we can't breathe. Huh, I never thought of it that way. Well, what do you think of all of these deleted scenes from Finding Nemo? The movie was supposed to be really dark. Do you think this version of the film would have been better than the original? Share your thoughts in the comments. See ya!